introductions. Let's call for introductions. It is now time for question period. The member from Newmarket, Aurora. To the Minister of Health. The speaker yesterday, the entire Liberal caucus, gave Chris Mazza a standing ovation in his response, in response to the Premier's endorsement of his right to practice emergency medicine at Thunder Bay Hospital. Speaker, here's what a medical doctor practicing in Fort Francis had to say in an email in response to that endorsement by the Premier yesterday. I quote, I hope he meets a patient and or a family that was harmed by the performance of Orange. He may finally get a realistic feel for how destructive and incompetent he was. End of quote. Speaker, this minister fired Chris Mazza for that incompetence. She called him a liar and is suing him to recover health care funds that he siphoned into his own pocket. But today he's back on the ministry's payroll and practicing emergency medicine. What evidence does the minister have that Chris Mazza has recovered from Question. his mental breakdown, his incompetency, and his disrespect for our health care system? Before we continue, Before we continue, when the question is being put, I would appreciate from the same side no other comments while the question is being put. And when the question is being put, I would appreciate no comments from the other side. And the same goes true with the answer. No comments on that side, no comments on that side. Let's keep it there. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Here, the member opposite has a remarkable history of twisting what actually happened, Speaker, and I would say this is just another... Um, stop the clock, please. I, uh, I will ask the Minister uh, of Rural Affairs to come to order. No, you did. And uh, I'm also going to ask the Minister to be very cautious of what uh, her verbiage is. I am loath to think that she would uh, assume that any kind of language that's unparliamentary will be used. I caution. Speaker, you're making it difficult for me, but what I will say is the member opposite has a remarkable history of not getting his facts right. Okay. So, and this is just one more example, Speaker. Yesterday, he's quite right. The member of the Liberal Caucus did give the Premier a standing ovation. The members of the Liberal Caucus gave the Premier a standing ovation because she talked about the importance of due process. Exactly. Here, here. And that is exactly the principle, Speaker, that the Premier talked about that Answer. we endorse on this side of the House, Speaker. There is a process. We respect that process. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, the principle I want to speak to is the principle of doing the right thing because here, here. it's the right thing to do. No one is asking the Minister or the Premier to interfere with accreditation. We are simply asking her to do the responsible thing. The Minister knows that this Chris Mazza refuses to appear at a parliamentary committee claiming Minister of Education, come to order. She knows that she called him a liar. She knows that she is suing him to recover precious health care dollars that he siphoned into his own pocket. Has the Minister asked a, for a report from the College of Physicians and Surgeons, has she asked the person who hired Dr. Mazza for the report on which he based his decision that he was mentally competent and that was he, he was in good health and proper health to in fact practice at the emergency uh, ward of the Thunder Bay Hospital? What evidence Thank does you. she have to allow this man to... Thank you. Help. Well, um, uh, a Speaker, in fact, the member opposite is asking that I interfere exactly. with due process, Speaker, yeah. and I will not do that. Yeah. The College of Physicians and Surgeons is the authority, should be the authority, and I respect the authority of the College of Physicians and Surgeons to determine who is fit to practice in the province of Ontario. I will not interfere with that, no matter how many times the member opposite asks me to. Here, here. 
Thank you. Sup final supplement. It goes back to April uh, of uh, 2011, when we first raised questions about Dr. Mazza and Orange in this House. She told us at that time that she has confidence in the steady hand and the very confidence of the Board of Directors. And as the Minister pleaded at that time, she has no authority to intervene. And so under her watch, multi-millions of dollars were wasted, patients and frontline staff were put at risk. Ten months later, criminal investigation. Ten months later, she fired him. Ten months later, she called him a liar. Speaker, the Minister and the Premier and her caucus may consider the defense of Dr. Mazza worthy of a standing ovation. We happen to feel it's a disgrace and an abdication of responsibility. Thank you. You see the case? You see the case? Thank you. The member from Stormont come to order. Minister. Uh, speaker, I've taken full responsibility for getting Orange back on track, and the member opposite knows that, Speaker. Uh, Orange is now well into a new chapter. It has new leadership, Speaker. It has a new volunteer board of directors that is delivering results for the patients of this province, Speaker. Uh, they, they measure their, uh, how well they're doing, Speaker, and I'm sure the member opposite would like to know how they're doing. Uh, uh, Ontario uh, Pilots, the most recent report on uh, Orange Pilots, were available to respond to calls 97% of the time. Orange aircraft were in service 99% of the time. Orange paramedics were available to respond 95% of the time. 96% of Orange's patient transports between health facilities are confirmed within 20 minutes. 90% of Orange's patient transports from emergency scenes are confirmed within 10 minutes. Speaker, Orange is back on the right track, and it's about time the member opposite recognized the tremendous progress and Thank work you. of frontline staff at Orange.